I sat down exclusively with Mike Petters, the CEO and a president of Huntington Ingalls Industries, the U.S.'s biggest military shipbuilder, to discuss the impact of steel tariffs and more. Take a listen. Has that been the case in terms of materials as well? I mean, there's been a lot of focus on tariffs implemented on things like steel and aluminum. All of our steel has been domestic. And, um, you know, I'm not sure that we could say that we've seen the impact of what's going to happen in tariffs. Um, I, I think that, I, I kind of think that the, the tariff issue is not going to show up in big commodities like steel. It's going to huh. show up, it's going to show up for us in things like uh, fittings, valves, uh, specialty parts, you know, those kinds of things where we might have third or fourth tier suppliers that will be affected by that in a way that we're kind of, we're not able to really see that yet. So, so there's going to be a kind of a lag effect in there. Steel itself, I think we're going to be okay. So, so you haven't seen any kind of an impact, at least not, not to date? Not to date, not to date. I would argue that it's still, in the, in the long cycle nature of our business, it's still pretty early in that, in that cycle. So. I want to get your thoughts on the defense budget right now, because what we've seen, and this has been the case with Huntington Ingalls stock as well, we've seen defense stocks selling off in recent weeks, recent months. There seems to be a concern out there uh, on Wall Street that maybe we're peak defense spending. Right. What's your take? I, you know, I don't know. Um, we, we saw what happened in 18 and 19, and the, and the way that I've characterized that is uh, uh, that was necessary. I don't believe it was enough. There's a lot of recovery that we have to go through here. Um, I think I've, I've uh, characterized it as uh, we don't know right now whether we are seeing kind of a bulge, you know, like a rat in the snake kind of thing, or do we see us moving to a new sustained level going forward? Um, and I think that's the challenge for everybody in the industry. It was a big topic throughout the weekend. The Navy has said it wants to grow its fleet to 355 ships. Obviously, Huntington Ingalls would benefit from that, uh, given the fact that it does make nuclear submarines, destroyers, aircraft carriers. But of course, this hinges on future defense budgets. The concern that spending in the U.S. will decrease again from here, it's a key reason the sector sold off pretty dramatically over the past several months. Shares of Huntington Ingalls, for example, were down 12% over the past three months ahead of this morning's open. They're down almost another 1% right now. But Carl, it was a very wide-ranging interview. We talked about quite a number of things. We talked tech, industry consolidation, which we've seen a lot of in the past year. And we're going to bring some of those thoughts from Mike Petters in this exclusive interview as well as the day unfolds. Interesting. Uh, on a day where the president tweets about an arms race that he called uncontrollable yeah. uh, and uh, trying to bring those costs under control. Of course, we know he's talked as well about expanding uh, defense, Space Force and all of that. Yeah, and, and one of the big keynotes of the weekend was actually Defense Secretary Mattis who who talked about this and he talked about the need to sort of urge Congress, urge the White House to continue the spending uh, and to continue the efforts to basically re-strengthen and rebuild the military that we've seen thus far. In terms of that arms race, uh, I think that to a certain extent was a reference to this INF nuclear arms control treaty that we have with Russia. That was also a topic of discussion over the weekend. Um, issues around pr uh, nuclear pr proliferation and whether Russia has violated that treaty experts say they have, and also what it would look like if we were to do something similar with China, because we don't have a treaty with China, and they too have been developing their own capabilities.